Jesus! Welcome to the weekend edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Friday, March 27th, 2015, and let's get to it. It's been a while since we've heard from one of the most colorful characters in all of bodybuilding, Big Sean Allen. Last season, we saw BSA take the stage for the first time in nearly two years when he took fifth place at the Pittsburgh Masters Pro Championships. And at six foot three and nearly 280 pounds on stage, it's safe to say that there aren't many athletes in the sport that cast a more impressive shadow on or off the stage than Allen. Although he hasn't given any word about when or if he plans to return to the stage next, I'm quite sure that when he does, it'll be quite the spectacle. A few weeks removed from an impactful pro debut, Vitaly Fatih is looking absolutely enormous. The Russian giant decided to step onto an IFBB stage for the first time a few weeks ago at the Arnold Classic, where he finished a very respectable ninth place. Many in attendance, including yours truly, felt that Fatih has great potential to make a significant impact in the very near future if he continues to refine and tweak his physique. Look for the rookie pro to make his presence felt in the IFBB as the contest season unfolds. New photos of a sharp-looking Victor Martinez surfaced from his guest posing appearance at last weekend's NPC Utah State. Last year, Martinez seemed to recapture his mojo by placing in the top eight at all six of his contests he entered, including a fourth and eighth place finish at the Arnold Classic and Olympia, respectively. Although he hasn't made any official announcement, it looks like Victor might be thinking about throwing his hat into the New York Pro ring, where he finished second just two years ago behind Big Rami. Should Martinez decide to throw down the gauntlet and enter the show, it'll set up an epic clash between two New York Titans, Juan Morel and Martinez, in what will go down as the showdown of the year. Daniel Toth is looking shredded two weeks out from making his 2015 debut at the FIBO Power in Cologne, Germany. Toth started off last season strong by bringing in what was arguably his best look ever to the Orlando Europa Pro, where he ended up sliding into the fourth spot as he faded a bit down the stretch. After a relatively short offseason, Toth is already back in the saddle and ready to hit the stage in front of what is certain to be a raucous home crowd. But if he wants to make this show a happy homecoming, he better make sure he dots his I's and crosses his T's and pays attention to every detail in order to avoid fading into what's shaping up to be a super tough lineup. The term freak gets thrown around pretty loosely in bodybuilding circles, but unfortunately there really isn't any accurate way to describe the absolutely enormous Canadian Goliath, Paulo Almeida. Last year Almeida took fourth in the super heavyweight class at the Canadian Nationals, despite the fact that he certainly was not at his best. And after another ridiculously productive offseason, it looks like bodybuilding's newest king of freaks is ready to rock the stage once again. Almeida was recently seen training arms alongside Mr. 5% himself, Rich Piana, and looks to be cruising in fifth gear on his way into the contest season. If he manages to bring in the necessary level of conditioning to show off his freak show muscle, we could be seeing Almeida stalking a pro stage sometime in the very near future. And finally, there's a new piece of exercise equipment that has been designed to allow young active people that have become wheelchair bound or have lost limbs to still be able to work out the way they did before their injuries. This technologically advanced design was created by legendary equipment designer Tyler Hobson of Pendulum for Warrior Medical and Fitness, a nonprofit charity that provides this piece of equipment for wounded warriors in need. Freedom is never free, and these guys or gals have paid the price for our freedom. The fact that we can go to the gym, email on our little computers, or catch up for a cup of coffee is because someone before us put their ass on the line for all the everyday freedoms we take for granted. This is our very little way of giving back something to these heroes. 
Currently, there is a drive to get a piece of equipment into a VA hospital. Every penny donated goes directly to the cause. Unlike other charities, nothing goes to administrative fees. Warrior Medical and Fitness is completely funded by donations and 100% given to the cause. Good friend of RX Muscle, Ron Norman, is on the board of directors of Warrior Medical and Fitness. To donate and or find out more about this worthy cause, go to their website, warriormedicalandfitness.com. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.